1.17 a.m. Mariners started to make up for lost time on Friday. Playing the franchise's first postseason game in 21 years, after breaking the sport's longest playoff drought, Seattle defeated Toronto, 4-0, in Game 1 of the American League Wild Card Series at Rogers Center. The Mariners now have control of the best of three series. Here are 11 facts and figures to know about this long-awaited victory. 1. There are lots of ways to look at the Mariners' playoff drought, but here's one that boggles the mind. Friday marked 7, 655 days since the club's incredible 2001 campaign, which featured a record-tying 116 victories, ended in Game 5 of the AL Championship Series at Yankee Stadium. The franchise's last postseason victory had come in Game 3 of that series, on October 20, 2001, also in the Bronx. Jamie Moyer was a winning pitcher, and current Mariners star Julio Rodriguez was less than one year old at the time. 2. Seattle didn't waste time getting the bats going, with the third hitter of the game, Eugenio Suarez, lighting an RBI double to right field. That made him the first Mariner with a postseason hit since Mark McLemore singled off Hall of Fame closer Mariano Rivera in the ninth inning of 2001 ALCS Game 5. McLemore turned 58 years old on Tuesday. 3. The victory was all the more thrilling for the Mariners because Rodriguez was in the middle of it. 21-year-old Phenom became the youngest Seattle player to start a postseason game, as well as the youngest to record a hit, thanks to a seventh-inning single. He passed Alex Rodriguez for the lead in both, with a rod having been 22 years old when he started in home run in Game 1 of the 1997 ALDS. 4. While the win was sweet, it didn't come without some pain for J-Rod. He was hit by a pitch twice by Blue Jays starter Alec Manoa, marking the second game in his career with multiple hit by pitches, also June 8th at Houston. It was the first multi-HBP game in Mariners postseason history, but at least Rodriguez made Toronto pay by turning both into runs. That made the Al Rookie of the Year award frontrunner only the third player in postseason history to be hit by multiple pitches and score multiple runs in a game.